Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm making an extension cord for my 220 Lincoln stick welder. Um, I'm going to get into it and show you kind of what I have coming from the breaker box to my 220 outlet and then what wire I'm using. I actually have two different extension cords here, basically. Um, I bought some six gauge wire, RV wire from a buddy of mine. I think it's like 25, 30 feet. I will have to measure it. Um, I was doing some reading. They said that the farther you go with an extension cord, the bigger gauge wire you need. So I just found the biggest gauge I could, and that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, let me show you the wire. There's four wires on it. I only need three for what was original on the back of the welder. Um, I am using the 6-50R, which is Recept, and then I'm using a 6-50P, which is a plug. Um, let's see here. So this is coming out of my breaker box. It's turned off currently. Um, I just kind of dropped the wire down, and this is the plug that was on the back of the welder um, when I bought it. Let's see here, where is the plug? There it is. Okay, so that was the plug that was on the back of the welder, and so that's kind of just what I'm going with. Um, yeah, let me just flip you guys around, and we will go over kind of how I'm making these connections and, and see if it works. Okay, guys, so I've gone ahead, and I put the holder connector that, that holds the wire into the box. Um, I had to really fight to get it to squeeze around this really thick wire. Um, but I was able to squeeze it right through that first hole. Um, that was the knockout that I knocked out. Um, I was able to put this on first actually and squeeze the wire um, knowing how much I wanted it to stick out. And then I was able to fasten it to the back of the box with these two screws. So that's like really sturdy and it's in there now. Um, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to probably just cut the red wire down here and then just not use it. Uh, probably put some black tape on and probably do the same on the other end. Um, it should not matter which color goes to which side of this and then the green just needs to go to this one down here. Um, what I was just looking at this, um, this part moves. And so there's a groove right here and then a notch on the inside. It looks like what you do is you kind of take this and you, you either loosen this. I was able to pop this one in where it went. Let's see if this one will do it. Um, what I might have to do is loosen it and then pop it in. Let me see if I can't loosen this. There we go. Yeah, see how it just kind of went right into that little spot. And then the set screw goes back in it. There we go. So then the wire, once I cut it and strip it to the right length, will be going underneath of that set screw down there and we'll tighten the screw down into that. So let me go ahead and cut some of these wires and then strip it and put it in that connection and then I will show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so here we have it. I have the red cap uh, cut and taped off. I have the black ground and the neutral white. Um, I have them fitted correctly. The set screws are really snug down. Overall, that looks like a really clean install. Um, it's really sturdy. Will be interesting to see um, how the box, um, it looks like the box just gets mounted with one screw, just right through the face. So, and it's just dirty. Um, and then that screw, and then it looks like it came with a couple screws if you wanted to mount it to the wall. Um, but overall, that looks really sturdy. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and jump on that other end. I have to try to figure out how to cut this end off. Um, maybe, I mean, I have bolt cutters, but uh, maybe I have to use a grinder. 
to cut this. I mean, this is like, uh, I don't know, this is like an inch thick. So, yeah, I'm gonna figure that out and let you guys know um, how I end up doing that. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. So here we have it. I had to trim part of the coating back to get it to suck down evenly. Um, it, it took quite a bit of effort to try to get these wires. I did it outside of the box, so you, I, I was able to screw the connections on, and then I was able to just slide them into the holes that it goes in. Um, it took a lot of effort, but I was able to do it by myself. Um, I feel like it's safe. I don't think anything's moving. The back of this cover also has grooves, so I've already tried test fitting it. It should just go right on and kind of snap in place. So I might have to take two hands to try to squeeze that down. Um, I did cut the back of this out. Um, I just kind of ran my knife around it. So uh, I might have to clean it. Well, it's pretty smooth. Um, I might have to try to smooth it out just a little bit more. Um, I might have set these too tight. So maybe I might need to cut those off. Maybe that's why it's not letting me go all the way in. I think it would work. So, uh, okay, well, so there we have it. Um, I'm gonna try to put the cover back on now. Let's see, I, yeah, so I have it sitting the correct way. Um, I've already tried test fitting it in that hole. And then I did go ahead and flip that upside down. So this would plug in directly because this is a really heavy wire. So uh, let me go ahead and try to put the cover on, which it's basically, you just go on it and then there's four screws. So um, it did give me another option, I guess, if you needed a bigger end on the other side. So uh, yeah, let me put that cover on. I have the two plugs made up and the boxes put back on. So I've gone ahead and I plugged the welder in and I plugged it into the recept. Now I do have it on a 30 amp breaker, so I'm going to flip it on. The welder should be in the off position, so we will see if it pops the breaker. Okay, the breaker is on. Now we should be able to hear a noise. Let's make sure nothing is touching when I flip this on. Okay, got those moved out of the way, and let's flip it on. going to test it out here in a minute and uh, make sure that it works so I think so far we're doing pretty good well guys there we have it I just ended up using the welder and I was able to weld two trailer jacks on the back of this enclosed trailer um, it's a single axle and so it wants to it wants to fall when you step on it and move so um, it actually had trailer jacks on it and then I left them down once and ripped them off on accident, I bent them pretty bad. So a year later, I finally got around to making an extension cord so I could go ahead and weld those on since I couldn't fit the trailer in the garage. So uh, there we have it. The extension cord worked great. Um, had no problems with it. It seemed to have penetrated very well. I'm not a welder, so it doesn't look great, but it's sturdy and it seems to be holding. Um, I've watched quite a few YouTube videos on how to weld and I do okay and I can't seem to separate my weld no matter what I do and I've done it quite a few times. So uh, there we have it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and we just hit 900 subscribers. So how crazy is that? Um, I mean, I can't believe you people like us that much. Um, you people sounded kind of rude, but no, I, I just can't believe that you, the, the YouTube viewers, like us enough to watch our videos and subscribe. So I am so very grateful for that. Um, you know, just 900 is such a big milestone that we're, we're getting close to that 1000, which is like, it, it's the, the bar to hit. And then YouTube and Google will, you know, start, you know, getting our videos out there. So more and more people can see it. And I think, I think that day is going to be crazy when that happens. Um, we will be making a video on this soon. We picked it up a couple days ago. It's a blast. It's a 2007 Joiner Sand Spider 650. Um, 
yeah, so there's more videos to come. Thank you guys so very much, and I will catch you guys in the next video.